Hey, hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. Today we are going to be building ourselves our very own tow truck. You know, I've got a lot of cars that I made in automation in BeamNG, but I've never built a car that can tow other cars. So what we're doing is building this thing and it's not going to be, you know, a regular tow truck. I don't have regular needs, you know, I need a special tow truck, I need the best tow truck. This is going to be the fastest tow truck in the world. We're going to make two different versions. We're going to make uh, one version that's very normal, very tame obviously. Uh, we're also going to make a version that is very wry. It's going to be a twin turbo spec tow truck uh, with a lot more power and a very high top speed, unreasonably so for a tow truck. So let's go ahead and design the car. So steel panel material, of course, ladder chassis, pretty standard stuff for a, a, a truck. Um, this is 1991 model year. It's going to be 1990s. Of course, the body is significantly older, but this is going to be like 1990s tech and like an older body. Just imagine a truck that's been on sale through the 70s, 80s, and 90s, um, but this is a tow truck variant of it, basically. Uh, let's go for a front-mounted longitudinal, just solid axle leafs. So leafs it is for towing. Uh, let's go new engine here. It's going to be an absolute... So we're making two versions. It's going to be an absolute monster regardless. This is going to be a Maven vehicle. Push rod, V8 engine. What more do you really want? 7 liter V8 for the base model. Um, 7 liter V8, naturally aspirated. Very, very normal. Uh, we're also going to make the crazy version. And we'll do that right after. So we'll, we'll build both versions side by side here, basically. Uh, cast iron, cast, and cast sounds reasonable. Uh, we'll lower this down to like... 8 to 1 compression and count profile down to like 20 to net for now. Multi point EFI um, was probably a little bit high tech, but doable. But doable. Uh, regular fuel. Uh, let's go for long to or short cast headers. No muffler, maybe. So no secondary muffler, just one muffler at the beginning. Uh, this it, it, it's a truck. It's it's a utility vehicle. What more do you really want? Let's go 13 fuel ratio. It is very stressed out the engine. I mean, I'm I'm stressed out building this thing now. Okay, I think we're pretty much good. There's the basics. 260 horse, 402 pound feet of torque. That's a good bit of power uh, for a tow truck. I think it's probably like the, the most powerful tow truck in its class, even though it's like a 1970s 60s body. Uh, what year is his body? 65. So they use this, they use this car from like the 70s to the 90s because. Maven wanted to use his body from the 70s to the 90s. I don't know, 4x4. Now we can go for a manual gearbox, but I'm thinking again, maybe the engine and transmission, they're a bit more modern. They updated it and they used this car into the mid to late 90s. Advanced auto 4 speed. I know, it's maybe a little unrealistic, maybe a 3 speed's better. But you know what, this is like a big industrial vehicle. We'll make it short gearing. And we'll do a manual locking diff because maybe a manual locking diff's fine. We're gonna have... 4x4. Four four. Uh, you know what? You can turn it on or off. You can either have 4x4 four four on, 4x4 four four off. Uh, I'm not too sure if 4x4 four four is the best for towing. I'm not really a, a, a huge truck guy myself, so I don't really know. Manual locking diff sounds fine. The top speed of about 100 and 130 kilometers an hour sounds reasonable. Very short gears, so short first, short second, short third, and short fourth. We're gonna go for hard long life tires. And honestly, we don't have dualies in automation. I can make them look like dualies, but we're gonna go for just like chonker chonker rear tires um and put the spacing quite high on them i know they're not dualies but uh, that's 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 the best we're gonna get really and we'll space with the fronts more as well uh steel wheels please solid discs pretty large we'll do for like a one piston quite large in the rear no under tray needed and we'll go for like standard and basic just like a uh, uh, power steering yes standard 80s sure and just basic stuff basically Let's go for utility. So, so far the car weighs 4,200 pounds. 70 reliability is actually pretty good. 9 MPG, oh, that's that's not bad actually. That's somehow pretty good. The cost, 18 grand. It's a very, very basic, very cheap vehicle obviously. 7 liter V8's quite large. So, I mean, the basics are pretty much done. The, the truck is generically done. It's got things. It, it's going to work probably. Four, it's a 4x4 four four two-wheel drive. I've got to design it like a tow truck. So, what I'm going to do is design this truck to look like a tow truck um, and then I'm going to uh, tune and tweak the actual truck itself. After all that's done, we are going to go back and make a second trim model of the vehicle uh, with a lot more power. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail, this thing, the goal here is at least for me, before I even make the thumbnail or whatever, is because I haven't made it already, yet, is 200 miles an hour is the goal. 200 miles an hour is the goal for this truck, at least. It's got to be the fastest tow truck in the world, the most towing power, etc., etc. Uh, so let's design this, this base model Maven tow truck, then let's go ahead 
and design the world's fastest tow truck. So sit back, relax, guys, and as always, I hope you enjoy. All right, and now we're starting the build for my Maven Super Tow Truck. It's going to have uh, these quad headlights with almost like a T-shape across. And what I'm doing now is just sort of trimming out the inside of the grill and moving the grill properly in place, adding some details to the grill, like some three bars, uh, adding a bumper, uh, adding some details to the actual top of the hood with a little bit of a power bulge up top there, uh, a little place for a M Maven emblem, and a, a bumper bar, like a push bar. Uh, some more things like mirrors, door handles, uh, just playing around with some other things as well, the name of Phaeton XLLX. Uh, some wheels, uh, we have windshield wipers on now, I added the antenna, and I'm trying to add dualies, uh, which I'll tinker more with later on. The back is the most difficult part, this truck was quite detailed, making our own custom uh, rear for the entire truck. This is of course a tow truck, it's got to look like a tow truck, so I add this sort of box area where you can store goodies like tow truck tools and whatnot, adding more details to the side, and now adding the actual proper lift uh, to lift and hook up the cars, I guess. I'm not 100% sure on how tow trucks work, but from a quick video and looking at some pictures, this is, seems to be how they sort of work. It's not perfect, it's not based off of any really uh, truck in particular. Adding some more details to the actual like lift itself, uh, and then tweaking with some other things, adding a top light bar, uh, looking for some things, adding some levers, of course you gotta move the, I'm guessing, hydraulics for the actual tow truck itself. Adding some wheels, so you can actually put some uh, wheels underneath the car while you pull them around. Some detail to the deck of the rear of the truck, making it steel. Uh, and more details here there, adding some gauges. Just a lot of detail, this build was just a lot of detail. I'm working on dualies now because I want this truck to be a dually. Adding these really interesting um, step step areas for the, for the vehicle itself. Uh, adding taillights, we're going to have these sort of dual small, it's a quad set of taillights similar to the front end, adding a sort of uh, bumper slash area to attach the car. Uh, finishing the tires up, adding a bit more detail to the back, uh, and now tinkering with some things on the side, making it a little bit more different colored. Lights on the roof and lights on the back. Um, they all should work pretty well, they don't work perfectly, but they work pretty well. The back yellow lights don't actually work at all, they just look cool, changing the color of red, and adding the final sort of hook for the vehicle, uh, making the headlights work, adding a bit of details to the side, some turn signals, and some other things to the front and side, and then details to the roof, and a few things. And in front of us we have the 1991 Maven Thetan XL LX. Alright guys, like I said, this is the Maven Phaeton XLLX. It's the stupidest name I've ever heard in my life, and I love it. So this is the base non-crazy high performance model, the non-insane model, the actual uh, XLLX. It is in a nice beautiful red color, uh, and I think it looks super cool. Uh, a lot of detail went into this build, we got some gauges, we got some levers. Um, I actually have to look at actual tow trucks of like the 80s, 90s ish era, uh, maybe a little bit newer than that too, and just sort of base mine off that, so it might not be, you know, perfectly accurate, um, but I did my best. I learned a lot about tow trucks in the time making this video, so if you guys like tow trucks, uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So, 260 horse, th the rest of it's not really tuned, we don't really need to tune it that much. Design, we got these uh, dual headlamps or quad headlamps total. Uh, we got these three lights here, like, you know, like the Ford Raptor has, like big trucks have. We don't really need them because we have the lights up here as well, but I think they look kind of cool down there. We got turd signals down here, they are pretty much an afterthought. That's because they were. Um, another turn signal on the side. We got these really, really massive wheels, and you'll see here actually the real wheels are actually a little larger though. Uh, they are hidden. The car is not actually a dually because there is no duallys in, in automation. So we actually got to go ahead and just delete these uh, fake tires because we don't actually need them. So we have these tires right here, and we're going to make this tire just a bit bigger. That was just for the photo. I'll make it like, what, 375? Uh, we got one tire, only not two. Be a very expensive tire, but that's totally fine. Um, so this is the clone version. So we have cloned this to make this the higher performance one. Uh, again, this is a very detailed build. If you guys want to show some support for uh, this, this build took quite a bit of while. There's a lot of custom stuff. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. Um, okay, so we're making now a high performance version, the LX or the XL Super Sport. XL Super Sport. Sure, that sounds like a reasonable Maven name. 
Um, so the chassis, all this is gonna stay the same. Still leaf springs, solid axles. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. So we've got a different uh, 7, point, uh, 7 liter V8 engine. We're gonna make it just a little bit higher performing, just a little bit. Twin turbocharged 7 liter V8. You know, I think that's good enough, guys? Nah, actually, it's not good enough. We're gonna make a new engine for this thing. It's gonna be a V12 pushrod V12. Okay, it's a little too big. We can go for, I want a 4x4 here. So a, a, a 12 liter V12 engine, which seems like a pretty reasonable size. 11.7 liter V12, 1,000 horsepower, 1,300 pound feet of torque. Let's see what this baby sounds like, to be honest, though. That's not bad. The compressor's struggling a little bit. We can probably help him out. No, no, we're getting knocking. This is fine. Everything's fine with this vehicle, honestly. I've seen no issues with this at all. So, uh, 5,000 pounds now is the weight. Still 4x4 because it's gotta be 4x4. 5-speed manual. Let's go for, like... <laughs> A viscous limited slip? No. Manual locking diff still. It's, it's still a tow truck, but top speed has got to be increased to uh, over 200 miles an hour. 320 kilometers or so. So we got to break 320. We can do 333 kilometers an hour. We can break 200 miles an hour. Let's go for semi-slick tires and just like a, a, a good bit of thickness, honestly. Alloy wheels. Let's lower that weight down just a little bit. Oh god, the brakes still don't stop this thing. It's too heavy. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, fully clean under the tray, that's gonna help us out get a higher top speed. 340 now. 065, 6 with 4 wheel drive, that's pretty impressive. Let's give it, a uh, traction control, that's probably a wise idea. And then let's give it, like, adaptive and, like, let's tune it for sport. This is a sports towing truck, uh, 5,500 pounds. Uh, the cost, eh, it's only $50,000, that's actually kind of reasonable. 5.6 seconds claimed to 60. Uh, okay, I'm gonna bet right now, I haven't tested it, obviously. I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna guess, what, low threes? Low threes to 60? That's my guess. It's a lot of power. Even though it's a tank, it is a lot, a lot of power. Let's go aluminum, actually. That'll save us a bit of weight. Let's save us, like, 200 pounds. Uh, we can get more power with, yeah, DOHC. We could do that. We could. But push rods are cooler. Let's be honest. Uh, we'll leave this one on red. We'll change the other one to, like, yellow or something. We'll have, this one's the, gonna be the red one, the fast one. The other one's gonna be the yellow one. We'll hop into BMG with this thing. We're gonna see how much it can tow, because the goal here uh, is towing a lot. It's still a tow truck. It's gonna tow a lot, but it's gonna tow a lot very, very, very fast. I'll see you guys in BMG with both trucks in just a sec. Okay, guys, so we're in BMG Drive with the Phaeton XLLX. This is the automation test track. We're just doing a bit of a hill climb using some graded slopes to see if the Phaeton can tow uh, my thick dozer limousine. And it weighs 150,000 um, pounds, which is probably a lot for towing. I don't think a tow truck this size is meant to tow a vehicle of this weight, this girth. Um, the, time, the wheels I still have, I still have a fake mod wheels on there. And... Um, they're jiggling. I think that's natural for wheels, to be honest. Now, it's it's squatting a little bit, but rest assured, I'm thinking it can tow it. So we've got three grades, 15%, 25, and 33. We're going to see if this thing can tow um, the the limousine up all three. And after that, uh, we're going to test out the Super Sport version, see if it can test them easier, or if it, if it can or can't. This is a 15% grade only. We're just going to go. We're just going to send it. <laughs> it can't do it. Hey, it's not overheating too much, actually. The hitch is in the middle. Like, it's all hooked up in the middle. Like, this thing is in drive. Oh, no. It can't do 15 degrees. Oh, God. It was not meant for this. Let's, let's try to get some speed here. Let's try it. It's trying really hard here. It's an overheat. Let's try normal high range. Let's just go. Let's go low range again. Let's just go. Like it moves it. Yeah, it's not gonna move it well. I guess you know what? We're already gonna try it with the 1300 with the thousand horsepower version with four times as many horsepower. Can it tow it? I don't know. Let's take a look uh, and I, I guess see if it can. So I guess all that's left to do really for this. The towing is just a test if you can tow it. The fast one, over a thousand horsepower, over thirteen hundred pound feet of torque, twin turbo V12, obviously. Uh, the limousine's in first, just in drive. The differential is not. Or the 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 rear axle is disconnected. Nothing's on. Okay, let's try it. We're hooked up apparently. Uh, 
Oh god, that doesn't sound healthy. Oh god, the winch. <laughs> it's all destroyed. This is not a great towing test. L let's try something a little more its, it's size, because I want to see if we can tow like something heavy up this, this this slope at least, because, man, this is anticlimactic. This thing is just too absolutely insanely heavy. And honestly, I think it's kind of glitched out too, so let's try something realistic uh, and see if we can tow that. Finally, we're back. Uh, we have got this hay bale trailer behind us. It's about 16 or so thousand pounds, which is pretty heavy. I think that's probably more than a usual truck's towing capacity, I feel like. That's that's probably right. Uh, we're going to tow up to 25% grade hill. We'll go up to 33% after. Uh, I'm sure this thing could tow it. This, there's no way this thing couldn't tow it, to be honest. Let's go first person. That doesn't sound healthy, but you know what? It works. Okay guys, the first real proper test. 33% hill grade. Uh, the trailer's all hooked up. Everything's hooked up. We are... Are we on the truck? No, I've got another truck there. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's go. We are going to be in low range now. 4x4. Four four. Just go second. Probably even fifth, honestly. Even fifth. Gobs of torque. NA, not even... The turbos are going to kick it in. Okay, we know. We definitely need that. Okay, wait, no. We need that, okay. Definitely need at least third gear. Oh god. <laughs> Not that much torque. Oh, we're overheating. I've got a feeling that this wouldn't be the best tow truck, not gonna lie. It's still towing though. That's 15, that's 16,000 pounds of towing. And it only took blowing our engine to do this. Well, that's absolutely fine in my book. Uh, we're gonna bring it back around, we'll try it again. Uh, we'll double the trailer ups probably. We'll do 32,000 or so pounds uh, and see if it can tow that. So we've got two trailers hooked up now. This is 32,000 pounds that we're towing, which is a fair bit for a truck, even for a, a big heavy duty truck. I think that's a fair bit of weight. Of course, no heavy duty truck is like our heavy duty truck. Let's start going here nice and slow here. Turn a little bit of right. I, I, I don't want to floor it. I don't want to spin the tires this time, so we're going to try not to do that. Not even really in boost. Get in there, honestly, though. We're getting a boost. A little bit. Yeah, we're in boost now. Oh! It can't pull 30,000 pounds! That was... We weren't spinning there. We were not spinning there. 30,000 pounds diff locked. Uh, Four-wheel drive. So 30,000 uh, 30, pounds, I'd say that's... Pretty, that's almost doable. That's almost doable with this thing, which is pretty good, I think, uh, for uh, a truck that's not really meant for towing. It's meant for top speeds. Speaking of top speeds, let's hop in to a top speed run, a drag race top speed run. Let's see what this thing can do. All right, we're going to do a 0 to 60 test. Top left is the 0 to 60 timer. Uh, traction control goes off here. I love this thing's dual exhaust, but it's only got one exhaust pipe. I like that. Uh, let's go for the diff's locked. <laughs> sure, I guess. And let's, let's launch this thing four wheel drive. Zero sixty, two point six seconds. That's pretty quick. That's pretty quick, man. The engine blew. We overheated at about a two hundred and ten kilometers an hour. So zero to sixty, two point six seconds. Two point zero sixty two. So even less. Probably two point five to sixty. 2.6 seconds. That's pretty fast for a tow truck. Um, let's hop into a top speed run because that's also pretty important. As long as we don't floor it, then we're not going to overheat. There we go. In fifth now, we're doing fine. We need to hit. We need the airspeed up here. Let's get airspeed actually. I can't do it right now. What? Indicated airspeed. That's fine. Airspeed. Give me an airspeed. This is fine. This is a knots? This is a knots! Oh, airspeed's bottom left! We already have it! I'm blind. We need the knots as well. So 320 is the goal here. I'm just flooring that. 330, we're doing. How fast can we go in a tow truck? We're overheating. 345, looks like the top speed. Losing speed. We're gonna keep going until she blows, I think. 345 kilometers an hour. That's like, what, 210 miles an hour? This thing's faster than a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, pretty much. It's pretty quick. 
It's pretty quick. Let's respawn it. Can it actually... Uh, can we lock the rear diff? Rear wheel drive. Can we just do... Can we do donuts? The tires are quite thick back here. Too thick, probably. We can! It overheats very fast, but we can do it. That smoke looks very healthy. Well, this was not a diesel truck, but uh, it smoked like one. Uh, well, I think we'll do just a jump test. We'll see how it jumps. It can tow pretty good. Um, let's see how it jumps. Let's go fifth already. In boost. Didn't even reach top speed. Pops and bangs like a true tow truck. And our distance, about 455 meters, which is pretty good. Our braking testing is commencing. How fast can we brake? We can brake in 7.2 seconds, apparently. Well, I was braking, if you ask me. Uh, a pretty good distance. Not bad. I give it, a, I give it a, a, a two thumbs up, probably. The tire is having a little bit of a freak out there. As usual. Uh, if you guys want to see more BeamNG content and automation content, let me know in the comments down below. This one was a lot of fun. This build is quite detailed. A lot of fun to do a detailed build. Again, I'll leave links to both of them in the description. Uh, make sure to join the Discord linked in the description down below. We do have monthly challenges where you can win some Steam gift cards, so it's quite a bit of fun. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, am, I, am I a complete idiot about tow trucks? Probably. But did I have fun? Heck yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always... I'll see you next time.